Welcome back in to another all new video from the Hoop Central YouTube channel. I am Hamilton Neal. We thank you for taking some time to join us here today. We are talking about the Texas women's basketball team and their class of 2023 it targets a lot of talented players. Vic Schaefer and the Longhorns are targeting right now. Here in this video, we're going to go through all of the players that they are currently tracking. And we're going to first start by talking about five star recruits that the Longhorns have offered and are heavily in the mix for starting with wing Madison Booker. Texas is in her final list, along with UConn, Duke, Florida State, Louisville, Mississippi State, Oregon, Tennessee, and South Carolina. Center Bria Cunningham out of California has Texas in her final list, along with UConn, Duke, Arizona, UCLA, Notre Dame, Oregon, and USC. Wing Sammy Wagner, right in the Longhorns backyard out of Texas, has the Longhorns along with USC, Oregon, Arizona, Stanford, LSU, TCU, and Texas A&M in her final grouping. Center Ilya Del Rosario has a Texas offer on the table. Also recruiting her right now, UConn, South Carolina, Arizona, and Oregon. And point guard Hannah Hidalgo out of New Jersey has an Arizona offer. UConn is also extending some interest right now as well. Four-star recruits targeted by the Longhorns right now in this class are point guard Delana Carter out of Texas and Riley Grays at the center positions. So those are the seven players being targeted right now by Texas here in this 2023 class. A lot of those players are already weighing their final options. Booker, Cunningham, and Wagner, all at five-star recruits have finalists out at this point, and obviously they're in a very good position for Samantha Wagner. She's visited Texas, very familiar with the program, was committed to Baylor, but when Kim Mulkey left to go to LSU, decided to reopen her recruitment. Everything's on the table at this point. You got some other West Coast, you got some West Coast programs there, USC, Oregon, Arizona, Stanford, a couple other in-states, AM and TCU also LSU there as well. You would think that with the relationship that she has with Kim Mulkey that LSU would be near the top of that list, but I have a really good feeling about Texas being in this all the way down to the end. With Booker and Cunningham, it's a little bit cloudier. At this point, we're expecting Cunningham to stay out west, whether that be at Arizona, UCLA, Oregon is in the mix as well. I feel that those schools right now are at the top, but Texas is right there. The need for post players is always there, and a lot of what Vic does and a lot of what this system reflects is through the post players, and Madison Booker, a very talented wing, who I think her recruitment is probably the one that's least clear at this point as far as you know who could be a favorite mississippi state is the hometown school you've got to figure that they're in a good position right now obviously tennessee loves to bring in wings like her but i think texas being pretty close to home compared to some of these other schools again what vic schaefer does with his system and the way he can utilize these wing players i think there's definitely an appeal of going into a place like texas very athletic wing really is powerful putting her head down driving to the rim i think she should be at the top of this target list right now because i think her and wagner are two players that prob both probably don't come in together but i think you can make a case if you're Vic Schaefer that you could try to recruit both there. And um, you got a couple other players that are really talented as well. Hit all go at the point guard position. Del Rosario in the post as well, who is out of the Northeast. Obviously, UConn is going to be a huge factor in that recruitment, most likely. But you got Arizona, Oregon, South Carolina, a lot of other schools that can bring in a post player like that and really utilize her well. So Texas definitely has their work cut out for them here in this 2023 class and with all of these targets, but in a good position right now to have another strong class and they're trying to do it again here in the class of 2023. Those are some of the players that Texas is targeting right now. Definitely interested to see what happens as we go down the stretch and as recruiting in 2023 goes into full swing. That's all the time we have here in this video from Hoop Central. We thank you again for taking the time to watch. We got a lot of new content coming up right now. Very excited for all the new videos that we have coming up. Definitely give us a subscribe. We're making the push for 1K subscribers right now. That is definitely very much appreciated. Also give this video a like, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single upload as well. We'll see you in the next video. This is Hamilton Hill signing off. Thanks for watching.